pop star Sarah Bareilles made her debut as a Broadway songwriter tonight with the new musical Waitress, starring Jesse Mueller. We're here at Bryant Park Grill to talk to all the stars on opening night. Happy opening night, Jesse. We're here. You did it. We made the pie. It came out of the oven. We did it. We got here. It's um, it's surreal and it's exciting and it's um, strange and. It's really fun. It feels like the air feels like champagne to me. Waitress, you play the waitress. I play the waitress abuser. Yeah. I don't know what it is about waitresses. I just feel like they don't work hard enough. What do you think is interesting about this story and what makes it sort of ripe for this musical? There's a character in the show that's identifiable to everybody in the, in the show. And I, I, I think that uh, we also have a, a core family feel. It's authentic. It's about real people in real situations. Nobody is make-believe. I think on some level she's an every woman and um, I think all of us struggle with something in our lives and struggle to, it's messy to get out of something that we're struggling with and we're watching that unfold on stage. We also you have this great success playing Carol King in Beautiful and then you kind of wonder like is another great role going to come along and look at this, another great role came along. You can't plan this stuff, you really can't, this is God given, it's like I'm, I'm very grateful. How easy is it to be in love with Broadway's Jesse Mueller? She's got a real special thing that makes you sort of lean in and really pay attention to what she's doing. And uh, it's remarkable. I watch it every night from the wings. She's a force of nature and just such an incredible artist and incredible human being. And she's not afraid to feel. I have been so fortunate in the last year to move from Dame Helen Mirren to Dame Jesse Mueller. And they're two of a kind. They're the, they're the queens, I tell you. What's it like to be a part of Sarah Bareilles' Broadway debut? She is the most down-to-earth, intelligent, funny, and giving composer that I've had the pleasure of working with today. She is marvelous, and I would work with her again in a second, and I would hope she continues to be a part of the theater community. We were already overwhelmed at the response that we were getting tonight, and when they came out, it was just this big cathartic group hug that needed to happen because we had all individually and collectively worked so hard to make it as honest and loving and truthful as we could. So how did it feel tonight to be on stage for the curtain call and to hear the audience and just to sort of be up there with everyone you've been on this journey with? Oh my God, it was so beautiful. We just got to get to this place together. We were laboring so hard. By the way, a woman went into labor tonight. In no, that's the crazy. In the theater. We were really birthing a baby tonight and, and it was so beautiful. A woman had a baby in the audience, maybe. Some, did she? She went to labor. You made her go into labor. Are you for real? You didn't hear about this? No. The wife of somebody on the crew went into labor. Oh my God! Oh, was it Eric Hansen? Was it Melissa? I don't, they'll know. They'll know. They'll know. Oh, I have to go ask. <laughs> Can we do the interview now? Yes, sir. We get to have sex on stage. I have a little, uh, yes, a little bit of sex. Congratulations. If that's how you want to define it, some people don't. Anyway, yes. Speaking I, of, what's on a? Do you have something on a stick there? Pie on a stick. I don't really eat a lot of pie in the show, and pie is not really what I'm thinking about in this show. I'm thinking about. Love. You're thinking about love. Yeah. You get to have sex with Chris Chris Fitzgerald on stage. I know. <laughs> he is literally a clown. He makes me laugh at any given moment. It's so, it's actually hard being on stage with him sometimes because I'm like, stop making me laugh. You're so funny. For money, for money, I get paid to do Eric on. I'm not telling you. Got to buy a ticket. My memory is that you're on all fours. Don't tell him anymore. <laughs> buy a ticket. You do a lot of baking on stage. You do a lot of fake baking, fake baking. Fake faking? I live. Yeah. Are you good at that now? For baking? <laughs> Somebody else asked me that. I was like, I don't really know if I'm ever any better at making pies than I was before. I'm getting better at rolling out dough. Yeah, I noticed you were really good with the dough tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Does it make you hungry? You don't seem like a guy who eats a lot of like dessert, but I just feel like being around all that. Yeah, I mean, I guess they are piping pie smell into the audience. They really are. Yes. Have you, you? Come on, you smelled it when you came. Didn't you smell it? They pipe pie smell into the lobby. And when you walk in, they bake a pie. You didn't know that? They bake a pie. <laughs>